Hey team, this is uh, Evolve Strong with CJ, and this is CJ. It's going to be a good one today. <laughs> it's Monday, and uh, come out of a weekend, which was just, uh, it was a great weekend. Worked all weekend, but it was one where um, we had a cookout yesterday, and it was just awesome, uh, with some good, just basic meat, pasta, salads. Everything was fresh, guacamole, salsa, um, everything off the grill, so good stuff yesterday. But anyways, I... Help you lose 10 pounds and five inches off your waist in 28 days. That's what I do. And everything that I talk about within the podcast or I, I preach here or any of the talks that I do always have to deal with wellness or telling the story of someone uh, within the program or someone that I've touched or someone that has touched me uh, in regards to their successes. And today, let's talk about two beings that are alive in you one is the critic and one is the advocate again let's repeat that one is the critic and one is the advocate you know i always poke fun and everybody says that you know i i, I talk to voices in my head and um obviously i'm kidding but there are thoughts that come to my head that are very prevalent and some days my inner advocate is very very strong some days my inner critic is overpowering and i use those two words precisely because we can switch those at any point in time but sometimes when i try to have the advocate in my head take control because of the circumstances because of the mood because of the day because of just certain things that are out of my control the critic in my head becomes overpowering the problem lies here when the inner critic tells us why are you trying to do that you know you're going to fail Everybody else, you know, has tried and they've not been able to do it. What makes you think you can? These are the odds of success are very minimal in comparison to the pain and circumstances that you have to go through in order to get there. Why is it that you're not just, who cares? It's okay, just snooze. You don't have to get that workout in today. You just go to work, just chill out. We could do it tomorrow those are the inner critics in our head and when we give energy to that time and time and time again that critic becomes well fed and becomes very powerful inside our system don't get me wrong I'm, 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 I, I try not to feed that as much as I can and that that fucker comes up and slaps me in the face and tells me I can't do it all the time. Now, the other one, the advocate. The advocate inside our head. It's saying, you have come this far. Why the hell are you trying to give up? Man, look, even though it was small, look at that small achievement we did today. You should be proud of that two pounds off on that scale. You should be proud that you got up this morning, brushed your teeth, made your bed, at least. You should be proud that you made it through another day. You should feel really good that you made those phone calls. You should feel really good that out of everybody in this world, you are where you're at, probably better than at least 90% of those around you, especially if you have the capability of listening to this podcast. That's the advocate. The advocate is the one that tells you you think you can, you know you can, you can get through this no matter what. It tells you that you are good enough and everything that you have within you, your mind, your body, your spirit, has exactly the elements it needs in order to succeed. Which I believe very strongly it does. And it is a mindset. But once again, you have to feed it. Now, the difference between the critic and the advocate are two things. The advocate 
takes absolutely, uh, pardon me, the critic, the critic takes absolutely no action in order to feed it. Let me say this again. The critic takes absolutely no action in order for it to be fed. On the other hand, the advocate in your head, the one that will tell you that you can and you think you can, takes action no matter what it is. And it's really cool. The Huberman Lab. Um, I, I listen to a lot of continuing ed and, and these guys, and I listen to the scientists and the psychologists of motivation and the science behind, you know, the physiological and psychological effects of different movement, different motivation, motivators, different things like that. And the Huberman Lab uh, uh, has released a study, or they were discussing a study about how getting up and actually going for a walk for about 15 minutes, because remember, I'm telling you that 15 minutes is critical. But when you physically move forward with one foot in front of another, there is a physiological and psychological effect where you begin to feed the advocate in your mind. The entire process of just moving forward one step at a time changes your mindset to one of more positive outlook and hope. Whereas if you hide underneath your covers and you try to stay in bed or you go and hide behind a bottle or you go and hide behind a cigarette or you avoid certain critical conversations or you avoid making the phone calls or avoidance in general or no action has the exact opposite effect and begins to feed the critic. So when you think about water, and you think about water that is just stagnant and just sits there, what happens to it? It turns green, algae goes into it, mosquitoes and just green gross larvae. And I have to say, I have this water catch basin outside because I have a flat roof and, and I have this big ass basin that I haven't emptied that I need to use for watering. And my, my dog butter um, with that ugly ass tongue, <laughs> He goes out there and licks it and then tries to come in. And lick. I'm like, oh, anyways. So I'm talking about that gross, ugly, stagnant water, right? Water not in motion, just stagnant. It's gross. But that fresh spring water that continuously just rolls and roils. And have you ever just had fresh spring water before? The taste is so clarifying and wonderful, right? That is you. And our bodies, I know this is a weird realization, but our bodies almost or I forget the actual science, but it's like 80, 90% water, H2O. So think about it. When we're just stagnant, we're dying. We're, we're, we're growing algae. We're growing bacteria. We're, we're, we're dying, right? So today, if you just sit here and you start thinking, oh, I'll just do it tomorrow. I'll start my fitness journey tomorrow. I'll, I'll handle that tomorrow. I'll, I'll just, you know, I'll just sleep in like, you know what, guys? You are feeding the critic. And that's when you get in this insanity cycle, right? And then we start going towards donuts. We start looking for sugary foods because it gives us a boost of, you know, the different chemicals that we like, you know, the satiation effect. We go for the booze. We go for just different things, right? Because we're not moving. We're trying to use the easy way out. And that inner critic just builds and builds and builds and builds. And no wonder, then you look at yourself in the mirror and then you even get more disappointed. That critic is like, fuck, well, how did I get here? I know how you got here. <laughs> you, you kept feeding the critic. So I take action. And I always start because I'm in the fitness realm. Start moving 15 minutes a day, guys, 15 minutes a day. And if you're at a point where you've moved 15 minutes a day and you need a little bit more help, that's where I come in. You know, that's where I'm a coach. Hit me up, 505-370. 7771-505-370-7771. Love to hear from you guys. From my heart to yours, remember, start strong, stay strong, always be evolving up most strong. Later.